What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is it, I told you I was gonna give you a little recap on uh, the differences of mounting the motor uh, from tool six to Tilston. If you want to, uh, you know, make the switch, make the move, uh, just let you know what I went through and uh, what I was able to use. So basically it slaps right on, all right? Uh, I didn't have to move the motor mount over. You might have to move the motor mount over. Uh, I did notice that if I did move the motor mount over, I cannot clear the um, the seat strut with the TV. So we're riding right on almost that third bearing. We're real, real close, but we're, we're right on it. Yeah, I don't have the chain on. I got to adjust the chain length. Um, and then it bolts up to the, uh, to the motor mount, the 206 motor mount. We're running the Orenthal one. So that's the one that we, uh, we're using. Uh, it bolts right up to it. Uh, these, these locations have like a little slit to them. So make sure when you mount the motor, there's a little play right on the motor. You wanna make sure the motor is aligned and then crank down those bolts. Because of those two slits back and forth, it will play a little bit and it could mess up your alignment. So just make sure it's mounted down tight, uh, good to go. Uh, we're running the quick, quick connect system. It's the same stuff I run with the mini gears, but we don't have a mini gear on here. You can run regular size gear. Uh, it's a spec gearing 1555 for the class that we're running today. Uh, so that's basically it. Uh, I did do a, a break in um, startup. It is out there. I um, mean, they know it too. So I'm not going to harp on it uh, too much. But firing this thing up, it's a real massive pain in the ass. All right. It took me, and I needed Nicole's help, about 30 minutes of just pulling, cranking, um, I just the idle on it. Uh, I really didn't mess with anything else in the car. Uh, I don't, don't know what the hell to put. I just put the recommended setting in for the valve lash, and then um, we, needed, we needed to spray a whole bunch of ether in it, starting, and then fire it up the first time. So the cold start was really, really hard. Now, once it warms up though, once it's warm, um, it takes about, it's been taking us average about six to eight pulls to get it fired up. All right, I've already started up, drained the oil, ran it, uh, drained the oil again, checked the valve lash again. So it should be ready to go. Uh, I'm just running all the recommended settings. The only reason I'm doing that is because I do this, I did the same exact thing with the Briggs engine. Uh, straight out of the box, slapped on the chassis, broke it in on the chassis, their recommended valve settings did not touch the carb just like this. I did not touch the carb except for the idle screw. And then uh, we ran that for 24 hours with no issues. So we're running this one for 12 hours with no issues. So my only concern is when we come in for the pit stops is getting this thing refired back up. Uh, other than that, it sounds healthy. It sounds good. Uh, that's basically about it. If you want to move over, you adjust your uh, throttle cable length and everything else hooked up. Like I did not change fuel line length nothing else it literally bolts on to uh, to the Briggs setup so that's one thing Tilston did nice is if people want to move from the Briggs chass uh Briggs setup to the Tilston setup they don't need anything special hell we're even running a, a regular Briggs clutch on here so super simple super easy um, that's one thing that's nice uh, putting the motor together wasn't difficult at all it bolts up real nice super easy as well uh, like I was saying, the only, like me, I like what they did with this part. I like how they have it, uh, the exhaust studded. I don't want to touch it, it's freaking hot. Uh, but I don't like how they have here. They should have made this through and then, so you can clamp down on it. And I like how they studded this here. So everything I like except for, you know, threading this in. Uh, everything else is straightforward. Um, hopefully no issues with the race. Can't wait, can't wait to try it out. Let's get this thing on track. Next video will be the uh, 12 hours at Orlando Kart Center. So we're going to make that happen. Thanks, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> any uh, any uh, recommendations, uh, hit me up in the comments for sure. Um, greatly appreciate it. Um, excited to try this out. Let's see how it goes.